Police hope new initiatives will help prevent crashes this year and in the future. New at 6 tonight, KITV's Nadia Galindo joins us live in the studio with those details. Nadia? Hey, Mo, Walt, the dots on this map point out all the traffic fatalities this year in the city of Austin. There are a total of 10. That's seven more than last January. Today, we spoke with the head of the Austin Police Highway Command to find out what they are doing to make our roads safer. Last night's fiery crash on the 8200 block of Research Boulevard is just one of 10 deadly crashes on Austin roadways this year. It does kill more people uh, in Austin than we have through our regular homicides. Commander Art Fortune heads the Austin Police Highway Enforcement Command. He says it's unclear what is causing the spike in fatal crashes. I don't think the police department is doing anything less this year than they were last year. One of the fatalities is the result of a 12 year old girl attempting to cross I-35 during rush hour traffic. Commander Fortune says he's looking to end all fatal crashes in the city. Starting with pedestrians, he says they should be aware they are at fault in some situations. It's against the law to be on certain roadways like uh, I-35, 183, Mopac. Pedestrians should always use designated crossings and be aware of their surroundings. I'm always trying to keep an eye out myself for vehicles and, and road hazards. Police are also cracking down on distracted driving, preparing to enforce the city's new hands-free law, which prohibits the use of handheld devices while driving or riding a bike. Commander Fortune says ending deaths on the roadway is a constant battle but hopes education and new laws will be part of the solution. It really becomes a matter of self-responsibility. And right now, Austin police, city leaders, and residents are meeting monthly for an initiative called the Vision Zero. The goal? To have zero deaths on the roadway. They hope to have a plan of action within a year. Nadia Galindo, KITV News.